All right, today I've got a camshaft out of our V6 Mustang motor that we have been pulling apart. As you can see, this thing is in different stages of cleanliness versus disgusting. And this camshaft that I have here is in the stage of being disgusting. So what I plan on doing with this today is wet blasting it. I know a lot of times you probably wouldn't reuse a camshaft, but in this case, this one's actually pretty good. And I kind of want to talk about some of the benefits of actually wet blasting this part. And I kind of want to showcase some of the benefits of wet blasting this part versus traditional methods of cleaning. Let's look into it. All right, so to actually process this part, I'm going to be using the VH1000. If you guys are not familiar with this machine, it is like the best industrial machine you can actually start with because you've got a huge work interior, but also a very attractive price point. One thing I do want to point out, I don't know if you guys noticed this, I didn't pre-clean this part. So this thing still has oil and grime on it, where if you were to do that with a typical sandblast cabinet, that would be a problem. You would actually clump up your media and start to cause a lot of wear and tear issues. But with a wet blast cabinet, that's no problem. You can essentially combine parts washing and surface treatment in the exact same cabinet. So let's prove that. All right, now for those of you that are thinking by wet blasting this thing, even though we do have an abrasive in here, we're blasting with glass bead, that we might be degrading the surface and ruining it. You're actually not. Because you are mixing the abrasive with water, when it hits the surface, it's actually cushioning it. So you are not removing any of that surface material, and this is a perfectly reusable part after the blasting process. Of course, this also applies to sealing surfaces. So if you're blasting engine cases or CNC machine parts that have to interact with one another, this is a perfect way to treat those parts without worrying about degrading the surface. So just as an immediate comparison here, guys, you can see this untreated section versus this section I just blasted. All in all, this section probably took around five minutes. Um, I was blasting it quite meticulously. It's pretty incredible the amount of shine that you can actually get back. Again, a few things to note, none of these surfaces are damaged, meaning this thing could be used again. It's perfectly fine for that. I know you may, may need to uh, grind, do some sort of further surface treatment, but as far as actually cleaning this part, this is by far the best way to do it. In the future, we are going to do a comparison with dry glass bead on this bottom section to show you guys what that will look like. And we also may do a hydro blasting section. I don't think it'll do that much. Wet glass beading always amazes me in its capability because this thing looks factory. It looks brand new. And it's a great way to bring up the perceived value on your parts, no matter if it's carburetors, side covers, actual internal engine components, no matter what it is. As soon as you throw them into a vapor running machine, their value increases. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know what other parts you'd like to see and other questions that you have. You can leave those in the comments below. We love interacting and answering questions for you guys. But again, let us know what you think and if you like this or not. See you guys in the next one.